welcome back to my channel. So this is a highly, highly, highly requested video. As some of you guys may know, I absolutely love planners, stationaries, all that good stuff. So a lot of you have been asking me to share with you guys how I organize my planner and I figure why not. So here is the video. I will be showing you guys how I organize my Kate Spade planner and also you know how I decorate the weekly pages the monthly pages which are my favorites and also sharing with you guys um, you know the things that I like to use to decorate the planner where I got everything from and all that good stuff so without further ado let's get started and don't forget to check out the description box below I have a whole blog post all about my planner so yeah, you guys can check that out. All the links for each product will be on the blog post. So check out the description box. And yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and see what's inside this little guy right here. All right, guys. So this is what my weekly pages looks like. This is actually this week that you're looking at. Um, I know nothing too crazy. I like to keep things super clean and simple and yeah. You guys know me by now. So this is just what it looks like. I like it to look cute, you know. So I did decorate with some washi tape. This washi tape actually was a set that I got. And this is what they look like. Gold foiled and just a gray one. And I got these from Joanne Fabrics. And it was super cheap. It was a dollar, I believe. A dollar or a dollar ninety-nine. I'm not sure. But really inexpensive. Love, love, love it. So I just decorated with that. And then this is from... What's it called? Project Life. You guys know I love scrapbooking and Project Life. So I love these little journal cards and I just like to keep it on here just to kind of like as a reminder and stuff like that. And I think it looks really cute. So for each week, I actually choose a page flag that I will be using to mark down all the videos that I will be making. And this is what I used right here. This is from eBay. I will have it linked for you guys. And whatever page flag that I use um, that week, that's kind of like the theme of my week page, if that makes sense. So here I have, you know, the pink. So everything is kind of like pastel -y colors. And I love it. So anyways, yeah, I love to write down... Um, what I have uploaded for the week or what I will be uploading and then over here I have these little sticky notes which I actually write down the packages that I will be getting or things that I ordered online just so I know if things comes in and if they don't um, and then I do have a to-do list um, I don't have a lot, I don't really write down everything but um, there's just some things and I love using this little to-do um, stamp that I got from Target. It was only $3 and it came with ink which is great and it has really cute little quotes on it like hearts to from love congrats just really cute little stamps. You can see I highlight things and this is what I use for highlighting. They're called the stamp marker and they're from American Crafts. You can get them from any um, craft stores but I actually got these from TJ Maxx and they were super inexpensive and here's a purple one. I love them. They're like pastel highlighters. So this is what my monthly pages looks like. This is what October looks like so far. As you can see, I like to pretty much um, use page flags for everything. It's I'm pretty crazy about that. Um, so I do have some birthdays written down on here. The page flags kind of shows you when I uploaded or when I will be uploading. I didn't do page flags here, but I did write down, you know, when I uploaded a video also. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And this cute little baby shower um, sticker is um, from Erin Condren. And you can make your own stickers. So I just uploaded pictures and then also like some quotes and stuff like that. Super, super cute. So you can get those from there. I'll have it linked below. And also over here I have um, these little guys which I write down campaigns or projects that I will be doing for the month. And then over here I have all my bills. And I actually use this sticky note for that, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx. It was a set. We can get something similar like these ones from Joanne Fabric. And this was only $8. So super inexpensive and you get two cute designs. This is a different color with that. So yeah, I love these guys right here. Those are what I like to use for writing down my bills for each month. 
So yeah, that's what the month looks like. And you know, I like to um, mark down more things as the month goes on, of course. So this will look a little bit more fuller later on. So just quickly showing you what November looks like so far. I did decorate with some washi tape over there on the corner. I have a sticky note here which where I will be writing down the projects that I will be doing for the month. And then I have another one here for the bills. Love it. And I have some stickers here. Um, for birthdays for my special loved ones. This will also be fuller later on whenever I upload videos or have to go somewhere and stuff like that. As of right now, I really have no plans for anything, so it's looking kind of sad. So that is pretty much it for my planner. I mean, I don't do anything crazy. Like I said, I like to keep things nice and simple and clean looking. I don't like to add too many stickers just because it looks so cluttered to me. So I just like to keep things kind of looking cute, more sophisticated, you know what I mean? So that's what that looks like. Now I wanted to share with you guys my little organizer thingy right here. This is where I keep some of my favorite page flags and sticky notes and pins and stuff like that. And I actually keep this in my purse. So yeah, this is actually a passport holder that I got from eBay. It was super, super inexpensive and it's just really cute. And I like how it's like tiny like this, but you can definitely put more stuff in there, you know, because you have this elastic that holds it all in so I love this little guy comes in other colors but this is what the inside looks like so I have all my pens over here in this little pocket I have these gel pens right here with the little cute hearts right there and these were from Target and then this pink one was actually from Poppin and then I have um, two pens that I got from Chinatown they're just really cute and these peach flags right here is from Target as well. They're only a dollar. These two are from Joanne Fabrics. And then this one I got from TJ Maxx. And then I have more peach flags because I love peach flags. So this was actually a set that I got from eBay. I have a journal card. I love these. And then um, some stickers that I got from eBay as well with different patterns. Love, love, love. And over here on the top, I just have a business card. So that's what I keep in my little travel planner holder thingy, whatever you want to call it. I think it's super cute. I love. So this box, I just wanted to share with you guys. I got this from Michaels and I just keep my washi tapes in here. I don't have a lot of washi tapes, but these are like my favorite ones that I'm currently using. And then I have my double-sided tape, my whiteouts, more washi tapes right here. I have my little stamp, um, page flags. You guys know me. I love them. Little sticky notes of this size. I have this size sticky notes. And then page flags right here from Target. Only a dollar each set. I have X-Acto knife. A little card that says made with love. So cute. More little peach flags. These were from Target. And I was actually going to stick this in my planner just so I kind of have them on the go. But I decided not to. And then these I just kind of printed off and they're just paper with cute patterns on them that I can stick in my planner whenever I want to. And then I do have stickers. A ton of stickers with different patterns. And more down there. And then these, oh my goodness page flags again love 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 they're so cute and they have a few more patterns here just different colors i love pastels so as you can see i have a few of them and yeah so i just like to really stick all that in there and i grab this whenever i you know decorate my planner i do have these as well like i showed you guys so i just wanted to share with you guys this drawer right here this is pretty much my little um planner drawer um, I have scrapbooking stuff on here, but you already saw this one in this little container. These are my stickers from Erin Condren that I made. I have more, um, what's it called, page flags here. Super cute that I got from eBay. Then I have, you know, stickers that I can use. Some labels. These are from Target and more stickers back there. And then, ooh, I got these um, 
Hold on a second. That's giving me a hard time. I have these little washi tapes or paper tapes from Joanne Fabrics. My little page flags. More washi tapes. I love, love, love. And then and this is from Smashbuck. As you can see, um, I have this fabric um, sticker. Hello Kitty stickers. More labels from Target. Love. And more stickers down here. So that's that. And then in this drawer, I have more stickers. Yeah, for my planner. And then I have more sticky notes, like the bigger kinds. So I have those down there. And then those are just like for scrapbooking. Like all of my little, um, what's it called? Like 3D stickers are in there. And then I have some postcards here. So yeah, that's what's... That's what those two drawers are. If you guys want to see a little storage collection here, it's for my planner and scrapbooking. Let me know down below in the comments area.